Hey guys, since denim on denim or double denim, whatever you want to call it, is a big trend this year, I thought I'd go over some ways to style it that are kind of less Canadian tux, Texan tux, whatever you want to call it, and more kind of like fashion form for 2023. I remember when Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were wearing this trend back in like the early 2000s and I was totally all about it. I loved their looks but it's not really that kind of look anymore. It's definitely a lot more fashion forward. It's a lot more wearable than you might think. So it was kind of like a bit of a controversy or debate between whether it's a fashion faux pas or a fashion trend. And it really does come down to how you want to style it. Honestly, there are a lot of fashion rules with this, but I honestly believe in taking fashion risks and rules are made to be broken. That's how trends evolve and we come up with new styles. So one of the first ways to obviously style double denim, denim on denim, is to use something you already have in your closet. Most of us already have jeans and a jean jacket. And then it's kind of up to you. There's kind of two thoughts on this. Some people love coordinated monochromatic looks and I fall into that camp. I was speaking to one of my girlfriends yesterday and she's like, oh my God, I can't stand it. If even the washes are slightly off, it like does something to my eyes. It makes me go a bit crazy. Um, but so that's one camp is to do the whole monochromatic and that's so easy to tie everything together. Like buying an outfit like this where it's already the same color, same wash. You haven't got to think about what you're mixing and matching. The other kind of camper thought is to do contrasting washes, different shades or completely different colors. It could be even like a white and a black, a blue and a black. Also, if it's a little bit much for you to do head to toe denim with the bags and the shoes, I love that look, um, break it up, like you do your contrasting shoes and bags just so it's not kind of so over the top denim. Anyway, here are kind of 18 ways to style double denim, denim on denim outfits this year. They range from quite sexy and daring from like denim bralettes and mini skirts are kind of more conservative styles. So they tried to make sure there was a style for everyone to be able to make this a wearable trend for you, whatever you're doing, whatever season it is. Okay, I've talked enough, let's crack on. Okay, so the first trend I want to talk about, because this is the biggest one, it was the one that's most on the runways, and that's the head to toe denim. So I chose this set because it didn't look too denim -y. it kind of is a different wash to normal. It's a smarter wash. It's lightweight and I love the back on it with the straps and the straps here. I also like that it was a crop top that didn't show too much stomach. And then there's also a matching skirt I'll show you later as it kind of gets into spring, summer. I'm then using this vintage Fendi bag that was in my closet. That's why it looks a bit busted up. It's not denim, but it's a navy blue, but it looks like denim. That's why I'm loving that with this. And then these shoes aren't denim, they're blue canvas, but they look like denim, they go with this. Even the white goes in with the white stitching on this. I like being able to pull things from my closet and wear them on repeat, rather than having to buy a ton of new things to kind of create new looks just because there's a new trend that pops up. And the thing about this, I think this is why this trend is so popular, is most of us have denim jeans, denim jackets in our closets to be able to make this work. And I apologize if I keep sniffing like a mad woman. My allergies are going crazy today. My eyeline is all starting to smudge and come off. So I'm gonna try and make this quick. Another way to wear this trend that I really love, and it's kind of a little bit more chic and a little bit dressier, is a belted denim jacket with matching skinny or straight leg jeans and then throwing it on with a pair of knee high boots or heels with it. Don't feel like jeans, you have to wear sneakers, play around with this. You can make this as dressy or as casual as you like, but I just really, really like that. And it's kind of great for like lunches and going out for happy hour. Denim on denim outfit idea number three is what I said a little bit riskier, a little bit sexier or a lot sexier. And that's doing kind of like the denim bralette with the matching denim skirt. It was seen a lot on the runways, including Givenchy. Double denim outfit idea number four, just to tame that down a little bit or for when it's a bit colder, keep the bralette or bustier top and then wear it with regular jeans. Double denim outfit idea number five is more of a casual everyday look and that is to wear wide leg jeans with a button down denim shirt that's tucked in. If you're going to belt this look, I would err on the side of caution and stay away from Western and styled belts, just so it doesn't get into that Canadian tux vibe and kind of stays more modern and fresh. Outfit idea number six is for us matchy matching girls that like a coordinated look, and that is to do a monochromatic head to toe look like this one. Denim on denim outfit idea number seven is also another casual look and that is wearing wide leg jeans with a duster jean jacket that's open and then either a white crop top or white sports bra underneath. It's kind of like a really sporty casual look 
and it really plays with proportions. You've got the oversized bottoms, loose oversized top, and then the cute, sexy crop top underneath. You can wear that with your Nike Air Force Ones, your white sneakers or heels. Play around with that, make that look work, and make it yours. Double denim outfit idea number eight. Very similar to number seven, but if you don't like crop tops, just swap out the crop top for a t-shirt or a tank. I really like white with blue. I think it looks kind of fresh. It does look a little bit noughties, 90s. It's just that laid back casual look that still looks put together crisp and clean. Denim on denim outfit idea number nine comes from Gigi Hadid. She was wearing her denim jean jacket with matching jeans and then she had a graphic tee underneath. And that graphic tee just looks slightly edgier than a classic white tee. Double denim outfit idea number 10 can be quite dressy and I like this kind of like for drinks with friends or kind of a nice lunch date. And that is to wear a denim top that's not, I'm not talking about a button down shirt, but a long sleeve denim shirt with matching jeans and then belt them if you want to kind of add a bit of interest with your favorite belt. The top you use will make or break this outfit as well. So look for really fashion forward denim tops for this look. And I'll link a couple of ideas for this look below. Double denim outfit idea number 11 is more for the spring summer because I think we're going to see this trend go the whole year through. It's been on all the runways for all seasons. So if you're looking to keep this trend going, just switch the jeans for denim shorts or a denim skirt. And then if you want to go really matchy matchy, head to toe denim and something like the denim looking slides I showed you earlier. Double denim outfit idea number 12 is to do a denim midi or maxi skirt with a cropped denim jacket. The reason I say cropped and not full length is because I really like the proportions of having that long all the way down, cropped up the top, and then if you wanted to wear a crop top underneath to have a little bit of stomach on show, that's a really fashion forward way of wearing it. If you wanted to make it a bit more conservative, you could just wear a white tank top or white bodysuit underneath. Outfit idea number 13 is for those of us who like to get dressed quickly and not have to worry about matching a top with a bottom, and that is just to wear either a denim romper, play suit, jumpsuit, whatever season you're in, whether that's short or long. There are so many fun ones around, and yes, it can be quite a casual look, but you can dress them up by changing the belt, changing the shoes you're wearing, changing the accessories, but I definitely think this is more of a daytime look when you're going for a romper. The jumpsuits are obviously a lot easier to dress up for the evening and some of them right now are super, super cute. They either have the puff sleeves, they have the strapless bustier style, they have gold detailing on. I've linked a load of them on this blog post. Again, I'll link that below in case you're like, okay, I get what you're talking about, but where do I find these items? I've linked kind of like 50 favorite pieces to be able to nail all of these looks below. But like I said, most of us have a lot of these pieces in our closet anyway, so don't feel like you have to go out and spend a load of money on this trend. So we're seeing a lot of celebrities and models off duty wearing denim outfits everywhere. I already kind of told you how Gigi Hadid was wearing hers, but Bella Hadid was also wearing it. And you can take inspiration from her. She was wearing a corset, a denim corset bustier with a jean jacket with jeans. She did the whole three pieces and I absolutely love that look. It's definitely very retro, it's very 90s, Y2K, and that's so in right now. Okay, so this is another outfit idea and it makes the outfit I was wearing work for both the winter and then into the summer without having to buy two full outfits. I have the same top and then just switched it out to the matching skirt, which has the same kind of detailings on, but I absolutely love on this. And it's actually a skirt, so it looks like a really short mini skirt, but it's a skirt, which is perfect for the Vegas winds and just getting out in and out of cars, travel. I just find them so much more practical. And doing an outfit like this, where it's a three piece set that you can interchange, makes it so much more cost effective. And then I put the denim looking slides on with the bottom, so it really has that whole head to toe denim on denim look. I also really love a white denim for the summer, so you could do a white jean mini skirt, white jean shorts, and a white denim jacket to make this kind of more light and fresh for the summer. Another way to wear the denim on denim trend is to play around with the colors, play around with washes and shades. So if you don't want to do a matchy matchy look, play around with different washes, different colors completely, white and black, black and blue. Have fun with this and really make it your own. Probably the easiest way to break into the denim on denim trend if you haven't worn this look before to do head to toe denim is either with a denim dress or a denim romper. Retrofit makes my absolute favorite denim dresses. I love the details on them, like the puff shoulders, the matching belts, the washes on them are absolutely beautiful and they have so many different washes of denim depending on your personal preference. This is more distressed. Some people prefer kind of that whole kind of more 
the like I was wearing before where it's more of an even wash the whole way through. I found lots of retrofit mini dresses on sale as well. So I'm gonna link those all in the blog post if you wanna take a little peek. Another thing I love about the retrofit denim dresses is that they have pockets, which you know I'm a big fan of if you watch my YouTube or read my blog. I would probably style it with something like these slides or white slides for the daytime or possibly even white stiletto pumps for the evening or again even just it was for lunch to kind of give it that really retro vibe to it. I hope you found a double denim outfit that works for you. If you have a denim on denim outfit idea I haven't covered, drop them in the comments below so that other people can see them and find some more styling inspiration. I've linked all the outfits on the blog on glamourandgains.com. Everything's in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.